Hey everyone, hey my dear friends. Well, it's Sunday. I'll be spending time with my grandparents. We do the Sunday dinner thing, you know. I'm very grateful for that. I'm, I'm so grateful for family. And you guys are my family, my eternal family, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Do you guys think about when we're caught up, like the feeling of relief and joy that we made it? I know it's going to happen. I have real faith in the finished work of Jesus. I know that he's going to take care of things. A lot of people in this world think it's narrow-minded to have faith in Jesus. What makes your God correct? What makes your religion right? I never really consider Christianity a religion. I heard someone say, religion, it's like all the religions of the world. Here, here's some works you can do for salvation. And for me, Christianity, it's believing in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, his death, burial, and resurrection according to the scriptures. Many people don't understand the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's like water. Water can be liquid, steam, and ice. It's like time, past, present, future. It's still time, but they're di it's different. Water, it's in three different forms, but it's still water. Jesus Christ finished it on the cross. I don't have words to say to Jesus how grateful I am for that. He knows. He knows that I'm struggling with words to say. He knows that in my heart I'm just so grateful. I've mentioned many times in the past, in 2015, I was at a time in my life where I'm like, I hate this world, I hate everyone, I hate myself. I don't know if I want to stay here, Lord. And instead of giving up, I started see searching for the truth. And at first, I did ask Jesus if he was real, but I didn't start reading the Bible right away. I went into some New Age stuff, and it was like the last place I looked. Okay, maybe the Bible's true. Let's, let's see what this Bible says. I'm no Bible scholar, but I know it. I know the Bible. I've read it a few times through, and I listened to it, and... And there's Christians that debate about that, about the Like, as Christians, we don't all agree on everything. Hopefully, we all agree on salvation, which is through Jesus Christ alone. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for your prayers, for walking home with me. We're going to be in eternity with so many great, glorious promises of God. He's going to wipe away our tears. We'll have a new glorified body. I hope and pray we'll be reunited with our loved ones. It disturbs me the fact in this world how people hate Jesus Christ. I've questioned God in my life, like, God, why is this happening? But God's ways are much higher. We don't understand his complete plan. It's complicated. Good thing he made faith in Jesus simple, that a child could understand it. That's how I've been looking at a lot of things in faith. As a child, I'm like, well, I'm going to turn off the world and I'm going to listen to God. I'll read the Bible. I'll listen to my brothers and sisters who preach. And Brothers and sisters, today's the day the Lord has made. Maybe someone will get saved. I think about one person, like someone I don't even know, having faith and having salvation what a gift. Nothing to do with me, all because of Jesus. On this channel, I want to point out the lies of Satan, and I want to direct people to Jesus Christ. So, you listening, if you don't have a personal relationship with him, just start praying. Ask him questions. Don't give up on him. He's not going to give up on you. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I pray you have a wonderful Sunday. If you're with your family, tell them you love them. Tell them you love Jesus. God bless you, everyone.